This is going to be 26-1. We're going to take a look at a few technicalities of differentiation. Now, a few things that we have to clear up about the derivative. By now, if I asked you to take the derivative of x in your head, you'd be like, OK, well, I'm going through that process. It's going to be 1. Now, it's not technically correct. We've only focused on one scenario and taking the derivative. And so if I were to say take the derivative of x, because I never specified in respect to, I'm actually going to be left with the differential, which is dx. And so the derivative of x is only 1 when you're differentiating with respect to x. And so that's why we've always seen it in the form of dy over dx. I'm actually saying take the derivative of y with respect to x. So the numerator contains the variable you're differentiating, and the denominator contains the variable you're respecting. So if I were to ask you to take the derivative of this in respect to x, well, there is no x to take the derivative of. But I can still take the derivative of this. You're just going to be left with the differential. So looking at this first example here, it says take the derivative in respect to x, but I only have y's. So I could still take the derivative, which I get negative 10y to the fourth, but it says in respect to x. Well, there's no x here, and so we have to have the differential left over. It says find the derivative of each with respect to x. Well, this is going to be 1 and then dq. This one right here, because I have t, this is going to be 21t squared, so the derivative of the first times the second. But when I took the derivative of this, I still have that dt. Actually, we want to put that at the end. And then plus the derivative of the second, which is negative sine of t dt times the first. If I wanted to find the derivative of t with respect to x, I'm going to have, so I'm looking for dt over dx. And so this is going to give me 21x squared, so the derivative of the first times the second, plus the second, the derivative of the second, times the first. Times the first. And then you can clean up and you can simplify it right now. And so that is the derivative of t in respect to x. Well, yeah, there's no like t equals in my equation or anything of that sort, but I'm taking the derivative in respect to x, and so therefore that's why there's no differential that's being left over. It says find the derivative with respect to x. Okay, so in this instance, it's asking me to take the derivative with respect to x. Well, I can still take the derivative here, so it's say asking to do d over dx. And so for here, I'm going to have the derivative of the outside. So that's going to be cosine of y squared. Okay, So far, I didn't do anything with y times the derivative of the inside. And so this is going to give me 2y dy. Find the derivative in respect to x. So negative 4 the derivative of the first times the second plus the derivative of the second times the first. Now in conclusion, taking the derivative with respect to different variables, it's weird, but just remember that if you're not taking the derivative in respect to the specific variable, so like if I had x squared and I say take the derivative in respect to x, 
you're going to be left with a differential and you have to remember to include that differential as part of your answer. So if I said in respect to x, it would just be 2x. If I just say take the derivative, I'm going to have 2x dx. This does conclude our lesson. If you have any other questions, please leave them in the comments.